Okay, Judith, this is a uh, video, and I'm going to let my wife, Kelly, give you instructions on what she wants done to clean the house. So this is Kelly right here. Hey, Judith, how are you? Going to walk you through this. Uh, just remember, we start at the top and work our way down, so vacuuming is the last thing we do. First thing I do is clean both bathrooms, and I'll show you where they are and what I do. First, come back here to where the cleaning supplies are. And in here I have this wand and the little things that go on it are right here. And you just open that thing up and click it on there. Get your Windex and I get myself a roll of paper, paper towels. Um, you don't have to get the paper. I'm not getting the paper towels right now. because. <laughs> but you can get them. They You can get them outside or from the kitchen. And outside they're right up here on top of the shelf. And then we go into the first bathroom. And the first thing I do is shake out the carpets onto the floor. And then I um, do the toilet. And I clean with this. And then flush, you can unlock it and flush it down the toilet. And then spray all over and I clean with toilet paper Instead of paper towels, I clean with toilet paper so that I can flush that down as well. But you have to do two separate flushes so you don't clog the toilet up. Just make sure you don't do too much at once. Um, Windex you can get here on the inside and outside of the shower door. And wipe down the shower. There's some shower cleaner in there as well if you'd rather use that. Um, but use Windex on the windows inside and out. And then you can grab a big towel from in the laundry room where we just were. Any of those towels, you can use anything in there because they're all, you know, they're not good towels. Um, Windex here and there, paper towel it, you know, clean it all really good. Um, clean the toothbrush thing out. I do that every time and you can put stuff away in drawers anywhere you want here if it's out. It should be put away before you get here though. <laughs> okay. Then I do the same thing in the other bathroom, which is over here. I'll show you where it is again. I shake the carpets out and um, pull the dog bowls up, the scale, everything off the floor, and get that toilet the same way we got the other one. Clean the mirror and the countertops with the Windex paper towels. Um, you can go in there if you need a sponge or whatever. I have those um, in the back as well. I'll show you where those are. I'll buy some. I don't usually use a sponge, but if you need one, I'll make sure you have one. Same thing with the shower door here. Um, spray around with um, the shower cleaner and the Windex on the windows. Okay. Then the next thing that I do is paper towels using... Um, Try and clean all the granite countertops. I'm just going to put that there for now. Clean all the granite countertops with the Windex and paper towels. You can wipe these edges and the cabinet doors where we touch our fingers to them. I do that with paper towel Windex. The stainless steel, you can use a uh, rag or whatever. You can use the Windex for that as well. Um, the granite, and then also with the Windex, you can clean... The desktops here, the two uh, shelves and the desktop there. Okay, then the next thing I do is I get the uh, furniture polish out. This is where all the towels are. You can see there's sponges in here if you need them, rubber gloves. You can use any of these brushes. And all these towels here are rags. Get the um, Old English out. And there's usually like a t-shirt rag in here that you can use when you're done with all your rags and your dirty towels, stick them in the washing machine, just lay them in there, I'll wash them later. Okay, so with the, the um, furniture polish, you're gonna wanna dust, take the things off, things if you don't get them back in the exact place, that's fine. That, this, I always do the chairs down here, underneath the table, the legs, take all the pictures off, if you don't get them back the same order, that's fine. Um, this chest here, 
I do both end tables here, this end table, this end table. And here, you don't need to take all this stuff off the shelves, but dust the TV. Don't spray it with Windex or Pledge, but you know, just dust around there. You can spray the wood. Um, same thing with this piece right here and out here. Dust all the hardwood out here, the chairs as well. Okay, um, in this bedroom, you have to dust. I also do pictures lightly with the rag um, or a paper towel or something. All the hardwood in here should be dusted. The headboard and in here, these grooves need to be dusted out and the headboard in the back. And that's about in here. Hardwood, this moves right here. So if you want to dust right there, How about your closet? Fine. Anything in there? No, just vacuuming. Vacuuming. Yeah. And then back here in these two rooms, as far as dusting goes, I'm trying to make this pretty quick. Back here, um, hopefully Bill will have things cleaned up so you won't have to dust around them. Dust here, the wood, hardwood, and everything in here. And same for in this bedroom as well. Um, dust up here and on there, and just wipe the TV off, if you would. Okay, then... Um, as far as vacuuming goes, now you're ready to vacuum, and the vacuum is kept right here in the hall closet. And you're going to want to unwrap the cord. I had it already unwrapped because I was showing Bill something yesterday. But you can vacuum all the carpets. Um, usually I plug in over here in this bottom circuit right here. That plug right there and do most of this area in the bedrooms, you can get those with that cord. And all you do is you hold the handle, put your foot on there and pull back, and you can vacuum. The power button is right here. Then you do all the carpets, which are the bedroom, two bedrooms here, and then the area rugs and the area rug that's in the office. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do to do the hardwoods, you click the wand button right here, take the wand out, pull that cord out, and then the lift away button is right here. This always giving me a fit. <laughs> Yesterday, give me a fit too. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm trying to pull this thing out and it just lifts straight up. So let me show you that again. Every time I do it, I get confused. So you'll know and can do it better than me. Push that and just lift straight up. I'm always trying to pull it forward. This part you don't need anymore because that was for the carpet. Then you go back into the closet. And I usually use this piece right here for the hardwoods. And you just hook this onto here like a so. And then push the power button again. And you can either carry this around with you, it's pretty light, or you can just drag it, it will pull behind you on the hardwood. When I'm vacuuming these hardwoods here, I try to lift up the edges and vacuum, you know, get under the edges and around the edges of the carpets um, here as well of the area rugs. And then you can also use a hardwood vacuum for out on the porch on that floor. Um, if you see any cobwebs or whatever, or you want to get edges, you can take this off and there's a smaller brush in there that I'll leave out for you that you can use to get this with that. Um, as far as the blinds go, you can bring them all the way down and um, close them like that and just dust like that with a damp uh, rag would be fine to do that. Okay, um, then after I'm done all the hardwoods vacuuming, I get a dish sized towel in here. I get this stuff out here, the, um, whatever you call it, I don't know. Pine salt. Pine salt, but it's an off brand. And I get a rag that's like a dish sized towel. And I start washing the height, I fill up. This sink, about four inches of water in here. And then the uh, thing is down here for this. 
push that in real hard, use the hot water and about a half a cup of this. Put my towel in there, and then I get down on my hands and knees, and I just wipe um, and vacuum the bathroom floors as well. But then I wipe the tile down, the wood. I do it, you know, just out here, around, and up near the front door, and through here I go in front of that door, in front of this door, pretty much all the hardwood is what I wash. <laughs> but I do the kitchen better than anything. Um, and just make yourself a path so you can keep coming back to the sink. I always leave this section for last right here so that I can wash it and don't walk over the floor I've just washed. Um, and I do that as well, the tile floor in there on my hands and knees, do the tile in there. And... Um, I think that's it. Can you think of anything else? Mm -hmm. Just wind the vacuum back up, put it back in the closet, put all your dirty towels in the uh, um, uh, washing machine. If you see that we're missing something, I'll try to leave paper and pencil out and you can write down anything you might need for the following week or the following week after week or whenever you come the next time. <laughs> Thank you.